I know, it's been a while since you've seen me in this office, but this will probably be my home for the next many months or whatever, as I am proud to announce that I have begun development on my very own Android application. It is not a This Week in Android application, it is something else. But as it's going to take a little, little while to learn the process and to then, you know, put into action, I will be living in the office for the next couple of months as I make my videos. Um, I will be making it under the name TWNAN Software, This Week in Android News Software. So I'll keep you guys updated every single video of how I'm doing, and hopefully I'll have it done by the start of the school year. So, time for some tablet news. These two tablets are Smart Devices Smart QT7 and Smart QT7 3G, both coming, both running Android 2.1 on a 7-inch touchscreen with the with the T7 3G having 3G. Both will support up to 1080p video, HD video thanks to a 720 megahertz AR11 ARM11 processor and a 3D hardware graphics acceleration. There is also a 4700 mega megahertz yeah, megahertz amp megahertz battery and a and Wi-Fi. No word yet on a release date. And to end this video Phone news, of course. The T-Mobile Samsung Vibrant is now available. The 18T Samsung Captivate is now available. And T-Mobile UK is officially getting the Samsung Apollo Galaxy this August. The Motorola i1 is officially coming to Sprint on July 25th for $150. There is so much Droid news this week. First of all, the Droid X has been released, of course. And is reportedly being sold out at all stores and online. What was to be expected? Secondly, with this is a picture of a mini droid slider. I can understand Motorola wanting to branch out with a new form factor for droids, but I'm worried this could be the tarnished the droid quality name. And finally, Droid 2 is everywhere in pictures and rumors. You guys know what it looks like right next to me. These pictures have been released. These pictures have been found on a source code for the Droid X website as a Adobe Shockwave file. It basically looks like what we thought it would look like before, but I'm kind of liking it. And now it's being rumored to be launching August 23rd. What I'm really interested in, in, interested to see, is what kind of lines there will be for people camping. Which I will be a part of, you can bet that. Anyway, um, I'm This Week in Android, hope you guys have enjoyed this. Subscribe, subscribe if you want the latest in Android news, and I'll see you guys next week.